Hi, and welcome to today's show. This exclusive program is brought to you by ChelseaFan12.com. And tonight, Chelsea went through to the semi final of the Europa League with a 4 3 win on the evening, 5 3 on aggregate. Well, what a crazy night of football at Stamford Bridge. Gary and Ron join me, finished 4 3 on the night. It's unbelievable. I can't believe that we're letting three goals. Can you guess a team like that? Well, to, to, to be true, well, I think a lot of people expected when you win your first leg away from home that it was going to be uh, a walk in the park. And I think for half an hour it was when Chelsea went lot like, 4 1 up. Yeah. But, you know, we can't seem to, you know, we were saying to Chips earlier on that uh, we, we don't seem capable of being able to keep a clean sheet. No. You know, in the league games, the cup games, or what. So, uh, whichever formation they play or ever plays, we always seem to be losing goals. And, Normally, when you know teams start losing goals, they never win things. Is that down to nerves? You reckon, or is it what, what is it? You know, just complacency? What do you reckon, Gary? I, th- I thought it was a bit. Look, we was very, very complacent uh, tonight, especially after, like Ronnie said, go, going four-one uh, up, and it looks like we're coasting the game, and we should be coasting the game. I don't think they looked a, a particularly good side. No. All of a sudden, a, a couple of strikes at goal, and decent strikes as well yeah. from from midfield area. And we're on the back foot again, you know. Un- unmarked Depending header though, the first goal, wasn't it? Well, it's a, you know, I think you know the first goal was poor, but you know you got to fault the keeper for the second goal. Was beat him at the near post, wasn't it? Yeah. We got a couple of Mickey Balak fans here. Yeah, Balak, good. Yeah, sehr good. Balak, best of Spieler, Deutschland. Alice, love, vielen Dank. Um, nice to have a few Germans popping around to see us there outside Stamford Bridge. Uh, Balak was a good player for us. Could do with him in midfield tonight, I think. Yeah, we could do. A, do- a dominant person in midfield. We, they, we did miss that tonight, I thought. Um, we huffed and we puffed. After we went the goals up, I thought it was going to be an easy, a very easy game for us. And it turned out we made it Why difficult, not? and especially in the second half. Letting in goals like that does nothing for the confidence. Sarri throwing his coat off again in disgust when that, that third goal went in. I mean, you can't give him that much space, can you really? 20 yards out, but you've got a free, you know, a free shot and goal. Well, I think somebody's got to come out from the back and close the fella down, but uh, as I say, I think they were some poor goals conceded tonight yes. uh, against uh, maybe a very average side. It seems to me, having watched them for many years, that this Sarri ball malarkey that we've got it may be fantastic, but Sarri hasn't got the players that can play Sarri ball because it just doesn't work. Well, it seems like we're, we're persisting in playing it, you know. We, 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 and I'm not, I'm not too certain what it means, Sarri ball. If it's keeping the ball or, or giving it to one person, I, I'm not too sure. It means passing back from the halfway line when we should be turning the other way. Well, we're, we're doing a lot of that. We're, we're, yeah. keep, we're keeping possession of the ball. And, we're, we're, and to be quite honest, a, a, a few times tonight they shut us down, won the ball back and they were straight at our goal. So I'm, I'm not too sure about that. Sometimes I think we've got to go long, yeah. and we don't seem to go long. You know, we've got we've got players with pace who, who, who can get on the end of the ball, hold it up for us, and let us push up. Let's play the old-fashioned way, if you if you uh, you know what I mean. We've seen players come here from other countries that just haven't been able to adapt midfielders, centre forwards. Maybe this football is a little that, that just doesn't adapt to the Premier League. Well, I think we we were talking earlier on. We we had a uh, lad, I think one of the best players I ever played for Chelsea apart from Chivs uh, <laughs> called, P- called Pete Rosgood oh yeah he was and, quite good and uh, he'd be shouting and hollering about getting the ball up early and things we, we don't seem to do that it's, you know we, we used to have a Chivs would tell you like as a little warm up used to have a little eight a side game of keep ball get 20 passes in without the opposition touching the ball and you scored a goal and that's that, to me that's how football is the goalkeeper never kicks a long john up the middle no. Why? No. You know? I don't know. Well, he, when Higuain's in there, he doesn't win a lot. But at least Giroud does hold it up quite well, I thought, for us. Yeah, he does. He, he holds it up for... Uh, and sometimes he's up there for quite some time until we get anyone near to him. Yeah. You know? And, and, and it's all about helping your teammates out and, and going and help him. And, and sometimes we're so far back 
when he gets hold of the ball, it takes an, an eternity for get to anywhere near him. So it's a hard job for him. And that, that listen, Didier Drogba did it fantastic for us for quite a few years. When he first started off, he weren't so good, but he, he got used to playing that way and the way we wanted him to play. But at the moment, we're just we're very laboured when we get forward. And when we do get the ball forward, they've got everyone back. Uh, Frankfurt have beaten Benfica 2-0. They go through the away goals. The Bundesliga is not great. I mean, I watch it a lot, and I've, and I've lived over in Germany for many years. You saw it with Schalke and Hoffenheim. They're letting lots of goals. Frankfurt letting lots of goals as well. Hello, brother. All right. How are you doing? There, there's a man on television here having a chat. What do, what do you reckon to tonight's game? Uh, well, I can't really remember it, to be honest. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks. It's good, isn't it? Thanks for popping by. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, easily. Yeah. Another goldfish will be available in a minute or two, with no memory. Um, so Frankfurt coming, it's going to be loads of goals over the two, two legs. Well, you, you, you might think that, but nobody would have thought that there'd have been that many goals scored here tonight. So, no. uh, you know, we can predict, say, oh, yeah, it's going to be lots of goals, but we're the worst judges ever. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. it, but it the defences are not great, well, so there will be goals, yeah. surely. Yeah, there will be goals. There, there, there was plenty of chances tonight, and, and I thought. <laughs> The uh, the guy tonight who edited the goal in for for, for us uh, instead of Pedro. <laughs> I mean, what a finish that was from from two yards. But reminding me of you. I, I'll yeah. tell you what, thank Christ he did though. You know yeah. what I mean? Otherwise we'd have been struggling. So yeah. yeah. Burnley coming up on uh, Monday night. Monday night football here at the Bridge. I don't know. Top four looks. I know we're still in with a chance, but we've got to go to Man United. We've got to go to well, Leicester. You know, I, th I think that uh, we're going to be find it difficult to finish in the top four you know Burnley are here in the week well on Mandy uh, they're fighting to keep in the premiership which you know uh, and their style of play seems to be very very ultra defensive so uh, I think we're going to have a difficult game and and the games that we've got w w it's a situation where we got to win them if we don't win them yeah. a draw is no good to us you fancy Arsenal in the final in Baku just around the corner not sure if it's on the Jubilee or the Piccadilly line that's ridiculous isn't it when you, when you think it could be Arsenal um, played what, at Wembley what, what, yeah exactly why don't they leave the, the draw to the last thing and if one country's I don't know in Europe and the other country's I don't somewhere else this one's nearly it, not in Europe put, yeah, so far away put it, put it enough and by the way you mentioned against Burnley it's going to be a tough game for us you know, like they've got wooden barns up front. who are very, very physical. Yeah. They're very, very direct. And they like getting the balls in the area. And we're not too good from defending from set plays. So it's going to be a very, very difficult game for us. Gary, your fan club's arrived. <laughs> they want you. They're begging yeah. for you. Can you believe that? We'll see you on Monday night. Visit the ChelseaFan12.com website today to keep up with all the latest Chelsea news and statistics. It's also the place to find signed shirts, photos and works of art featuring past and present legends. Sign up for free now at ChelseaFan12.com For the fans. I thought he, he done ever so well today. And when we check out, we, we just make it easy for teams to defend against us. Is that what you sent them home? Because you weren't out with them. And I'm not being funny. Have you got a bush tucker troll coming up or anything like that? <laughs>